Hello everybody, and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be going through how I made a pretty decent little chunk of change this year. Pretty, pretty decently. Uh, I'm going to run you through the, my history on Robinhood. And yeah, pretty much go from there. Alright, so let's get over there. See our history. We've got to scroll all the way back to the beginning of time here. All the way back. too far. Here we go. Alright, so I pretty much started again back in March after the shutdown. I was off. I was not investing for a while. Uh, bad things in my life, whatever. It happens. Uh, so, you know, I bought some bought some Carnival at 15 bucks, Norwegian at 10, Norwegian at two shares at 17, I like two shares at eight dollars actually. Uh, Carnival for ten dollars, Two more at fifteen dollars. Americans sixteen dollars. MGM got some decent gains off of that one. Uh, Royal Caribbean Group. I think I dub almost doubled that. Norwegian Cruise Line. Virgin Galactic. Another Zynga buy. I'm a heavy Zynga guy. You know, I just I think that they might go be going somewhere in the future. Um, more Zynga. Virgin Galactic, I sold that one. Raytheon Technologies, I'm still, some days I'm, I'm not up on that day, and some days I am up on that one. Let's see, Airbus, pretty sure I'm up on the Airbus. Norwegian Cruise Line, bought some more of the, oh, no, this is where I sold some at $17. And then bought some more, sold some more Carnival Cruise Line at about 17 MGM sold at $17.81, sold some Royal Caribbean at the twenty about $20 profit. Uh, let's see, Sirius XM. That was pretty sure that was one that was given to me. Uh, NXITD. Uh, this company I followed on back in the day and just got absolutely wiped out on. Does it say how much I bought it for? No, but that, that one I got wiped out on. See, so bought a little tiny, tiny, tiny amount of Tesla here. Some more Norwegian stocks. Some Nail. Nail did me really well, actually. I think it's bouncing around the 50s right now. Uh, Norwegian Cruise Line again. Some Zing more Zynga. Sold off $21 a Tesla. Had to get lock in my profits. <laughs> oh, let's see. Uh, we started playing with some calls. And these calls were all junk. I bought a $10 call, expired and worthless. Okay, what do we got up here? Alkaline water. I don't remember why I bought that one, but I know I ended up getting, see it's 231 and I sold it at 220, so I took a little loss there. Not much, about $3, three whole dollars. Uh, Vanguard Consumer Staples, I'm doing pretty good on that one. I think that I just had some leftover money. Let's see, Nova Lifestyles, I think that was one that was given to me. WPX Energy, that was given to me. Southwest Energy was given to me. Um, Pfizer, bought some Pfizer. Um, got some Zingas, some more Zinga calls. Got a few different ones here. Got some 10 fives, some 10s, and some 11s. And I think that I don't, I think I make $2. Let's see, Zynga buy, 941, that's a little high for Zynga. Okay, let's see, another contract at 14 cents. <coughs> uh, Tesla market buy, $20. Alright, where were we? Uh, let's see, some Norwegian cruise lines, bought some of those, $80 call, which is a terrible idea, it's just still learning calls and stuff here. Still learning how to play with options. Uh, bought a whole twenty dollars more worth of Tesla. Big baller. Uh, now another six dollars because you know we rich, we rich. Uh, alkaline water cell did crap on that. Let's see, Zynga cell nothing. Expiration worthless, worthless. Sold that one. I think I might have doubled that. What was it? Eight dollars, fourteen dollars. I don't remember. Uh, bad, bad, bad. 
Got an Apple $100 put. Let's see. Bank of America call. Bought some more Bank of America. Pfizer. Bought a dollar. I don't know why. Um, deposit. Uh, okay, now here's where I sold my nail. If you remember, I picked up for about 25 a share. Now it's like at 50 so I just cashed out on that. I knew eventually their home builders and supplies are going to get hit, so I didn't want to be there for that. So you bought some more Bank of America. Some MGM. I'm just going to buy a call. Didn't make it there. MGM buy. Tesla market buy. Another $10 because we're a bit falling. Uh, let's see, Bank of America, $29 call, uh, 75 bucks, GE, limit buy, I bought them for $6, and now I think they're like almost at 12 bucks or 11 bucks right now, um, Pfizer market sell, I just want to be out of that, it just didn't really do anything for me, Brooksmore Property Group, I think they own a bunch of, uh, Pretty sure these are the guys who own a bunch of like uh, retail and stuff like that, and like uh, grocery stores. So I thought grocery stores are. I mean, you know, we got Amazon killing everybody out there, but I still think there's some room for grocery stores. All right, we got a sixteen dollar sold our sixteen dollar apple put. Well, actually, it was four four cent apple put put. So I don't know. I don't know if that's the one we already had. I don't think it is. Dropbox limit buy. I did that on Jeremy's recommendation. I bought in pretty high. Uh, let's see, Tesla market buy. Another $26. Starting to move up in our Tesla game. Uh, deposits, deposits, dividends, dividends. Tesla market buy. Now we bought 50 bucks. We're moving up in the world. Tesla market buy. I bought a whole share. It took us long enough, but we got a whole share finally. Let's see, Norwegian Cruise Line sell. Still not doing good with my options there. Bank of America sell, no good. Norwegian Cruise Line, pretty sure I bought in at like 16 bucks, so I made a little bit of profit there. Uh, and I had a gigantic run up, so I bought these puts in the hopes that it would go back down. Um, Norwegian Cruise Line market buy, I bought back in. Oh yeah, see, I bought it for 78, sold it for a dollar. And that was, yeah, the very next day, so. Uh, that's not too bad. I'm starting to be, I think that's one of my first, like, real profitable ones, besides just a dollar or two. Let's see, we got Norwegian Cruise Line limit buy. Bought them back in at 20. Yeah, not, not the best buy back in. 1975 and 2050, but it's better than the 21. Um, let's see, Zynga, we're doing some more calls. My Bank of America sell, I think it was at like 130, so I think I made 30 bucks on that one. Um, uh, let's see, Zynga call, three contracts, Zynga call, sell. Ooh, oh wait, no, that's a different one. 8.5 call, 10 call. Uh, there's a spy call I didn't make. Zynga, $10. One contract, 209. That's not bad. What did I pay for 159? So I made a 50 bucks off that. It's not bad, not bad. And then 230, so I made 50, uh, 70 bucks off that. So that's not terrible. 70 times two, so about 140. I'll take it. I'll take it. 140 is not bad. It's the start of me learning what the heck I'm doing with these options. And here's where I started playing with my margins. So that's why these look so much bigger without any big deposits. So we got the S&P 500, the SPY. I uh, bought two shares of those just to kind of keep my keep me moving with the market kind of thing. Those are just buy and holds and collect some dividends from. Bought some Tattooed Chef. Now. I am personally vegan myself. I do believe in vegan companies. This company, I don't really like their products that much, but I know a lot of other vegans do. And so, you know, once I saw that it was an option, then I decided to go for it. 
Fortunately, I bought in high after Jeremy made that video, so there's a bunch of FOMO in it, but like I said, buy and hold, so I'm not really worried about that. Um, let's see, dividends. Meh. Bank of America call, 305. Let's see, it made some interest, Robinhood Gold. Bought some more calls. I was really up, I made this video a few days ago, like on Friday, I think it was, or Thursday. And I had the audio messed up, so all you could hear was the fan from my computer. And I was up like 80% on one and like 30% on another one. And then I just sold today for, see that one I only made five, five whole dollars on. So that was, that was a little sad. But this one I made a decent amount on. I picked it up for 305, sold it for 440, so 135. And then 10 bucks there, so I can't complain. At least I didn't lose anything. But yeah, that's uh, that's that's my account, guys. That's everything I've done. Uh, here's my total returns. The Tesla total return about six hundred dollars. Bank of America's made me about a hundred dollars. I like the percentage. Where can I see? Can I switch over to the percentage? No. All right, whatever then. Uh, Norwegian Cruise Line made about sixty bucks there. Zynga made about thirty bucks. I should show you the percentages. The percentages are way better, bro. I'm telling you. Uh, yeah, it's not not too bad. Only about 14% is in margin. Because uh, I just sold off a bunch. I was up to like halfway in margin. But. Well, guys, let me know what you guys would like to see next. Would you like to see me go on an in-depth video on some of my holdings or some of my thoughts or bullish thoughts on some of these companies? Uh, do you want me to review a company that you're looking at? Uh, what, what you want? You want me to teach you how to invest? You want me to teach you where to start? Who to go with? What? What do you need? What you need? Drop a comment, like, subscribe, send to one of your friends with that little notification bell so we know whenever I post. And uh, I know I said hit the like, but why don't we just like go ahead and smash, 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 smash? If you caught that reference, you're real. You're a real OG. Alright. Peace out. Till next time, my people.